Now, here's the big news. Some of you already know this. I sold my leopard tortoises, the whole group. I needed some funds to build these other enclosures that I've been working on. They're gonna be tearing down this barn. I'm just gonna start over again. What's going on, everybody? It is an amazing day out here. We just got over a cold snap and uh, I've got a lot of work to do. But you know what's so exciting about working out here is the constant surprises that I always get. Uh, and it's kind of timely too, because as always, I'm gonna answer one of my Patreon's questions. Check it out. I found a baby redfoot tortoise in the enclosure. But get this, this baby is uh, definitely been around for a while. I mean, he's much bigger than a hatchling. There's no umbilical scar left. I mean, this guy is completely, uh, I would say a young juvenile. How awesome is that? Thank you to our amazing supporters who help to make this show possible every week. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennan. This week's special shout out goes to longtime supporter, Kenneth Buteau. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. We got a question today from somebody named Adam Slane, one of our patrons, and uh, he says, hey, Kenan, it's Adam. I've been bringing my hatchling redfoots outside more and more. I have built a fully enclosed enclosure. We have one more cold snap coming. Do you think after that, it'll be okay to leave them outside all night? I've been bringing them in every night. What are comfortable temps for redfoots? And what's the easiest way to heat their hide? And what temps should their hide be at night? Oh man, you got a lot of questions in there, buddy. You snuck a lot in there, Adam. Uh, anyway, let's get to it. So I need to explain to you the situation. Uh, the last three nights it's been in the 40s here in Florida. That means this little guy escaped my eye and has been out here. Now it's incredible how resilient they can be sometimes. Uh, this animal uh, feels a little cool obviously, um, but he closed up immediately upon me picking him up. He tightened up in there. Uh, this is obviously a small tortoise who's been outside for months and apparently no one has gotten him. Now that's probably because because I have an electric fence that goes around the entire place and um, you know probably maintained himself in here uh, hiding in some of these bamboo leaves and in the bamboo thicket perhaps and was probably scrounging the leftovers from the adults so this guy's been growing nicely and it's amazing that this animal has been able to survive out here for so long uh, during the cold snaps we've had we've already had quite a few this uh, winter so far so basically guys um, Adam to answer your question uh, I like like to you know make sure that the animals as far as a comfortable temperature for hatchlings I usually don't let it get below 65 70 degrees uh, that being said uh, these are just parameters that I feel are safe apparently this little guy has been doing fine uh, with the nighttime drops as long as temperatures rise up into the 70s during the day and that's exactly what's been happening so this is just extraordinary I'm so excited about this um, and let's go ahead I'm gonna bring him inside and set them up really quick just put them on the inside so let's go have a little walk i'm gonna read and talk we got to find out what those other ones are and then we have to come back because i've got a big move to make with the red the redfoot tortoises they're actually going to go into a new enclosure and i'll get to that in a second you guys are going to love this you're going to help me move these animals we're going to watch them walk around their new enclosure uh because we've got some changes here to the camp and i like to keep you guys abreast of everything that's going on um do you think after that he says after the cold snot can we leave him out all night yes as long as it doesn't drop too low. Uh, apparently this little guy that I have uh, was actually going to be uh, really, that's the extreme cases. Um, I'd say he's tough, he can survive it, but it's not something that I would let those animals do all the time. Okay, now that I've got this guy, you can see I'm bringing him in, we're gonna put him in the nursery. So it's very important to uh, keep an eye on your hatchlings because they are small and uh, you know, you don't wanna make any mistakes with them. And you certainly don't want these guys to get sick as a hatchling because if you get sick as a hatchling, it's next to impossible to cure them. Here are some babies. Uh, you've got a leopard tortoise right there. One of my snow leopards right there. Uh, we got another snow leopard. We've got the elongated tortoise. We got some cherry heads. Got a little sulcata. Uh, we got an elongated eating some of the tortoise chow here. This is great. I'm going to put this little guy in here. He's probably going to take a while to get used to it, but you can see I've got my moist hide right here. It's moist uh, sphagnum moss. We've got a basking light. One of the fluker basking lights is really doing a good job here. I use the fluker moss uh, because this is a nice thing that I can keep moist. And if you look, you know, th this tortoise is on it. He's climbed all the way up, but the other tortoises uh, like to hide in it. There's 
there's a cherry head hiding in it and some other tortoises yet like to hide underneath there. So I give them options. Do they want a dry hide? Do they want a wet hide? Do they want a bask? They got UVB, they got food. This dried up, the water, but don't worry, I soak them as you can see right here. So no worries. Uh, we're gonna let this little guy do his thing. Uh, pretty cool. So I'm answering Adam's question and we still gotta get to work and I gotta show you all that's going on because uh, there's quite a lot. So give me a second, let's get back to that question and make sure what temp should their hide be at night? Well, I think I went over that. Uh, between 65 and 70 degrees at night. So uh, I think they're ready as long as you build a fully enclosed enclosure. Uh, I just wanted to show you how things work in the wilds or semi wild. I mean, uh, that little tortoise did pretty good for definitely couple months old i mean for sure uh here are some leopard tortoises these are snow leopards as you guys know i gave them a little cactus treat we got some water filling up in their water bowl uh it's been cold the last couple days so the guys have been stuck inside we got them out now here's the big news some of you already know this uh some of my patreon supporters know this but i sold my leopard tortoises the whole group uh, i sold them to uh someone i consider a friend now uh, I, I'm not going to shout him out here because I don't know if he wants everyone to know, but he's a good friend uh, and he's a Patreon supporter. And I met him a few years ago where he, he purchased some radiated tortoises from me and he did such a good job with them. And since then, he's been just expanding his collection and meeting the right people, uh, doing a lot of work on his own. Uh, so what I did was I needed some funds to build these other enclosures that I've been working on. There's the uh, out there you guys can see that I've got the new iguana enclosures going up. We've of course got our enclosure coming up for um, the crocodile monitor, Lagatha. Uh, I'm gonna be tearing down this barn. So there's a lot happening. So, um, man, it was kind of tough, but I decided, you know what? I'm gonna keep the snow leopards. I'm gonna keep the baby leopards. I'm gonna start raising them up again. I'm just gonna start over again. Uh, we got a text here from the wife, I'm sure. I was letting her know about that little red foot. Uh, so let me silence the phone. But anyhow, so the leopard tortoises have gone to a good home. I've used the funds to kind of get these guys, uh, the rest of the reptiles situated here. So we've got this empty enclosure. And I was thinking, let's put the redfoots in here. I think the redfoots are really gonna love it in here because um, it's got some space, it's got some hides, it's got the water. Um, and the redfoots are so fun, they're so, uh, gregarious they love to come out and hang out and so I thought let's get them up closer so people can enjoy them when I have visitors and they can really see them uh, closer and I'm gonna actually do something different on that side of the uh, house as well so uh, let's see what I had to do is I built up the wall a little bit a little bit more because the redfoots are gonna be a little bit more uh, adept at climbing so I built up the wall a bit and I'm gonna watch today for any escapes or escape attempts and adjust accordingly. And then the same thing I did in here uh, with the inside enclosure, I built up, I went up a little bit higher because there's quite a few of these red foots and if they pile up on each other, it's possible they could climb up. And sometimes as you can see, I leave the door open and I don't want any escapees in this direction. Now, on the inside, since I had leopard tortoises living here, I sprayed the inside with bleach. Uh, so I, I sprayed it down, let it sit for a couple of days, rinsed it out, uh, bleached out the water bowl, filled it up again with clean water. And what I'm planning on doing, guys, is we're gonna put the tortoises in here. We're gonna open this up. I wanna set them up inside this house so that they know this is the house. And so we'll see if that helps them. And then they'll go out the door and they'll wander around the enclosure. So let's go get our leopard tortoises all outside and moved over. There's quite a few of them. We have to do a, uh, an accurate count. So I'll do that. You guys can count along with me. Um, and we're gonna wheelbarrow them over to their new house. But I just wanted to start with that baby that I found. I mean, it totally changed the whole direction of the video. Um, I found the little guy. I'm probably gonna do a little walk around and look for more uh, because they'll probably come out into the sun if there are any more babies, uh, which shows me that they do very well incubating here in the ground in Florida, which is pretty cool. Now, as I mentioned, it's been cool. So the, the redfoots are actually inside this barn right here, this little bunker. Now, why do I wanna take them out of here? Uh, well, I told you I want to keep them closer to the house. I want them to interact with me more. I think they'll like that enclosure. It's such a beautiful enclosure um, that I want it to be utilized by a fun species of tortoise. Uh, the other reason is this barn right here, guys, 
Kind of annoys me because uh, when it rains, it fills up with water. It's hard for me to get in. I have to crouch down. I have to use a shop vac because the drain doesn't work well. It's just overall a kind of a nightmare. So uh, we're gonna do it that way. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna open up this. Uh, I'm gonna start getting the tortoises out. We can do a count when we're wheeling over, but I don't know. I'm just gonna get to work and get these animals out. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. See you in a minute. Look at them all. Do you think there are a few tortoises in here? Holy smokes, it's a tortoise pile. We gotta get them out. Oh my gosh. 28 redfoot tortoises of various sizes. We got Lucky right here. Uh, the tortoise that I got from Bush Wildlife whose shell was hit by a lawnmower. Then we got Lego right there. We got everybody hanging out. Big girls, big males. And we even had an elongated tortoise that snuck on in. You got to go back with your friends, buddy. Get on over there. Okay, so now the next feat is uh, wheeling these guys back over to their new place. So that's what I've got to do. I'm going to need both hands. So you guys are going to just have to chill out. Maybe I'll just stick you in there with some tortoises, okay? So uh, that's what you're going to do. We're just going to go and plop you guys right here and uh, hope for the best. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the view of a tortoise eye view uh, being right here in this enclosure or in this wheelbarrow. Not the best video, but hey, hang tight everybody I'll be right there Woo! okay good they are now ready but first i want to do something i'm gonna rinse them off they got little poopies on them it's not so fun so this is filled up nice so i'm gonna go ahead and just give these guys a quick rinse they're the snow leopards having a little bite pretty good stuff let's get these guys cleaned off a little bit so i've got when i bought these um carts i went ahead and i drilled holes in the bottom so that it could do something like this so that they wouldn't hold water. I don't really need them to hold water, but sometimes in the past I've rinsed produce off in here, uh, stuff like that. Oh, here we go. Rinse these guys down. You can really see how pretty they are, but I want to get these guys out of here quickly. I just thought it'd be nice to make sure they got rinsed. All right, good, there we go. Let's start with the first box or Tub of tortoises. Hey, that sounds good, right? Tub of tortoises. So again, I'm gonna put them in here, and this way, we're gonna be able to acclimate them to their new house. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead, put my hands, uh, put you guys down. We're gonna speed this up and uh, get these tortoises out. Oh my gosh, look at all my red foots. So many red foots hanging out here. 28 of them. I have, uh, I believe I have seven males and 21 females. Look, Lego, Lego's already going outside. I'm gonna have to do something about this door to really brace the door, right, like that. Look at Lego, come on, little Lego. I'm gonna have to put a paver or there so that they can get up and out of that. Uh, but here goes the second gal. She's gonna go on out and explore the outside. My gosh, this is so cool. Now this species comes from Central and South America, actually more South America. Uh, they've been introduced to parts of Central America, but their native range is South America. They've also been introduced to some Caribbean islands. Um, so there you go, uh, but these are, Definitely a, a South American species, and they do very well here in South Florida. Uh, as you can see, some of the larger males, uh, they get fairly large, fairly large. You can see a good shape there, or size rather, due to my hand. Here's another large male. The males will also get what's called wasping in this species, whereas in the cherry heads, who stay smaller, uh, they, the males don't get that wasping. Let's go outside and see what they think of uh, the outdoors here. Pretty cool. There's Lego, we got her a while back. You guys remember her. Uh, she's doing very well here. 
and uh, here comes some more. And some of the older videos that I've had with these guys in them, everyone loves to see them pouring on out of their house. Uh, that's gonna happen. Again, the house is bigger. It's gonna accommodate them better. Uh, it's easier for me to get in there and clean. And I've now also done something good as far as keeping all the animals a little bit more uh, closer to the home so it's easier for me to get outside and check on them when I need to. Uh, I went ahead and I put up a board here. They won't be able to climb over. And uh, I'm really excited for them to really explore this area and to see if there's any weaknesses in my design. You know, I went ahead and I put that log up to kind of protect that area so they don't climb out of that. Here comes one now. They figure it out pretty quickly, this species. Some species of tortoises are actually a little bit, uh, well, harder headed, if you would imagine that. Where Whereas they don't really go into their shelters on their own. Now I've noticed the radiateds don't do it very well on their own, but tortoises like the sulcatas and cherry heads and redfoots, uh, my galops and aldabra, they're pretty smart. They know where their nighttime sleeping arrangement is, so they go on in there. So uh, pretty cool stuff, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just watch these guys a little bit more. So I'll be right back so you guys can see when all the tortoises come pouring out, uh, just what it looks like. Okay, there's Lego. All right, well, I uh, may have helped some of them out of that house, and uh, it turns out one decided to go back in, so what are you gonna do? But everybody, or most everybody, is out, and look at this, already chomping down on some of the grasses that we've got growing along the perimeter. Very cool. Uh, let's have a look around and see what they're up to. Look at this, guys. They are congregating over here by the grasses, exploring all areas of this new enclosure. They're nibbling on some of the fern. They've got all kinds of uh, different weeds to eat here. This is gonna be really great. Of course, there's the water supply from the pond. I've got a lot of poop on my hand, you know, a lot of fun. Lego has wound up uh, traveling pretty far so far. Is that a double negative? I don't know. There's Lego. Uh, very cool stuff, man. Next thing I gotta do is build a shelter for my pumps, a little pump house, if you will. Uh, but this is gonna be a good enclosure for these guys. I think they'll be extremely happy. Wanna make sure I put some rocks, like right here overhanging some rocks. Hopefully they won't be able to climb up, but if they do, uh, they cannot get out the main area of the yard. Some smaller tortoises. These guys will grow up uh, with some big, big brothers and sisters to help them along their way. Uh, but all in all, I'm really excited about the move. Uh, it was a little bittersweet to see the leopards go. Um, but again, I'm happy to give some other tortoises that I have a new enclosure uh, they were in that old enclosure for many, many years, and it was fine for them, but it was a little bit more work for me. Now, this is gonna be easier for me. Uh, it is roughly the same size as their enclosure, uh, and I just think they add a little something to it. So, there you have a video, everybody. We answered questions, we moved tortoises, we found a baby, we learned, hopefully, and uh, there you have it. I'm Cannon, saying so long. I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share the videos if you wanna keep learning, help others learn as well and uh, we'll all learn together. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you soon. I leave you with this big, fine specimen of a male, Redfoot Tortoise. So long.